Lisa from The Painted Pineapple. For those of you that know me, you know that my favorite product in the Fusion Mineral Paint line is their stain and finishing oil. I have infinite love for this stuff, just because it has so many uses and it's extremely versatile. So not only is it a penetrating stain, but it also does lots of cool things like glazing, and it also creates one of my favorite tabletop finishes, which is something that looks kind of like what might be called a driftwood or a restoration hardware look. So I'll show you how easy it is to do. So you basically just pop your tin open, give it a good stir, and I poured it out into a container. And I am going to dip my brush in there and get all of the bristles saturated in product. And then I'm basically gonna dry brush it. Um, I'm going to do two passes though, so let me show you. There's a lot of different techniques or different ways you can achieve this technique. Um, this just happens to be the one that I like to do. I like the look of it. So I will show you how I do it. So I offload, I don't want to go in with a lot of product on my brush, and in this case my tabletop has different sections, and it's, this one's going to be a little bit more challenging. Typically we work on a table that you can just go from one end to the other. So I'm going to start this one on the smaller compartments here first, and basically what I'm going to do is take my brush and lightly drag it from one side to the other. So you're seeing here I've actually got a little bit too much on my brush, so I'm going to take some more off, and again, and again. And then what I'm going to do is go in with my cloth and just ever so slightly wipe it back. So this is looking a little messy right now, it definitely is something that you build up. So I encourage you to not fret if you're doing this at home. It's really a hard technique to mess up, and you can keep going into it and reworking it. So once I do that one pass, actually, you know, once it's wiped back, I'll go back in again and give it another swipe. And I can keep building this up as much as I want until I'm really satisfied with the look. So you can see by doing that that I'm actually creating a little bit more dimension there rather than just passing it one time. I think I'm actually going to go back and wipe it again because I still feel that it's a little bit too um, too much contrast between the dark and the light. Go back and wipe it. And go back in again. There, that's what I'm looking for. So once you've found kind of what you like as far as the look goes, you can just replicate that all across the board. So again, the harder you push, the more paint you're going to distribute, or paint stain in this case. Go back in and wipe it back. Now, if you were doing a larger tabletop surface, like a lot of people will do this for their dining tables, because it also create, creates a really nice top coat as well, um, you would want to take it from end to end, and that I'm going to show you. So. If you start from one side and you really want to carry your brush all the way to the other. Oftentimes you kind of have to use your body going from one side to the other because what you don't want is for your arm to arc. This table is a little challenging, like I mentioned before, because of these little segments here. But when it's finished, you will see that it will look quite lovely. So this is done with a lot of different colors. I'm using cappuccino right now, um, but you can also uh, use black on darker colors. You can use um, the driftwood is really gorgeous. Driftwood color over um, raw silk is quite lovely. But this client's home is very much in the warm tones, so we're going to stick with Champlain for the paint color and the uh, cappuccino stain and finishing, so as you can see. Now this stuff has a dry time of eight hours, so what can happen as I keep going over this is that I'm pulling up and maybe rehydrating what I did before. So I have to be a little bit careful. But 
Sometimes I like that look too for this technique. So then if I wanted to, I could even, you know, go right into those lines and add a little bit of darkness. And as you can see, this is very much just something that you want to play with until you get the desired look. So I will just keep working at this. So what you guys have just seen is probably four or five coats or different passes of me blending and then adding more brush stroke in until I get just the look that I'm going for and the right amount of contrast. Um, this look is super popular right now and uh, as I had mentioned you can do it in a lot of different colors. They have five different colors um, of this stain available and this one is cappuccino that I'm doing but I also could blend a couple of them together. I also could do dry brush with cappuccino and then maybe add a black or even a driftwood into it to even create even more kind of variation in tone. Um, so basically that is it in a nutshell. Once it dries, it takes eight or ten hours to dry and the absolute beauty of this product is that you don't have to put a top coat on it. It's already nice and sealed in.